Hendon Hooker is a six-foot for quarterback with a strong arm, mobility, accuracy, 58 touchdowns and only five interceptions for Tennessee in the past two seasons. So how in the world could he even be a possibility for the Dolphins, holding no first-round pick? Well, Hooker tore his ACL in November. So most draft experts have him ranked behind Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Will Levis and Anthony Richardson. So, yes, that could perhaps push Hooker down to the Dolphins and the 52nd pick. Hooker isn't ready to practice. But he's conducting interviews with NFL teams and reporters and sitting in on meetings with NFL coaches for the American squad this week. After a practice this week, Hooker was asked how he would react if asked to develop behind a starter, like say, to a tug of Iloa of Miami, for one or two seasons. I'd be ecstatic, Hooker said. It was a blessing to be in this position that not a lot of people get to be in. So either way it goes, I'm going to come in, be a sponge, soak up all the information that I can. Learn. And when it's my time to go on the field, then take advantage of my opportunity, the Dolphins will need to add a capable veteran backup for Tagovailoa. That is unquestioned, the Dolphins will continue to develop 2022 seventh-rounder Skylar Thompson, in all likelihood, Thompson, like Hooker, is 25 years old, which is a bit older than the typical rookie, no, Miami would not necessarily need Hooker in 2023. But there will be a moment in April when general manager Chris Greer, or any general manager, will view his upside as too great to pass on. Considering the slot, the Dolphins hold picks 52, 78 and 85, according to Tankathon, yes, Miami could really use a running back, cornerback, tight end, offensive lineman or linebacker. But the possibility of a long-shot pick of a quarterback cannot be entirely dismissed. That's how important a quarterback is. Consider Washington once selected Robert Griffin and Kirk Cousins in the same draft, and consider Dallas once drafted Troy Aikman and Steve Walsh in the same year. No team can ever have enough quarterback talent. Hooker is about six weeks removed from the surgery on his left knee, and he says he expects to be ready to participate in training camp. Still, the possibility Hooker could be held out the first six weeks of next season on the physically unable to perform list could contribute to a small slide. Everything's going great, Hooker said. I'm ahead of schedule, Senior Bowl Executive Director Jim Nagy called Hooker the face of college football for much of 2022. Where Hooker is selected, second, third or even fourth round, will be largely determined by medical opinions. What if he were to slip to the third round? Miami has two picks there. Miami most recent second round quarterback selections are Pat White, 2009, Chad Henney, 2008, and John Beck, 2007. Oddly, they've never selected a quarterback in the third round. Hooker is a unique case. His talent is extraordinary. The injury is a factor, but for Miami, it may be worth considering.